Rain or shine, it's here to make you laugh. It's the Steamboat Comedy Podcast. It's the Steamboat Comedy Podcast. And now your host, Kyle Ruff. All right, everybody, welcome to the Steamboat Comedy Podcast, everybody. I'm your host yet again, Kyle Ruff, joined by my good friend, Mr. Matt Newland. Thanks for having me. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. Really appreciate it. I want to remind you guys, we got a big show at Oak Creek this weekend, this Saturday. Oh, yeah. Labor Day celebration. It's going to be a great time. I'm hoping I get this out by tomorrow so that this isn't a completely irrelevant thing to say. What do you got a shit? What are you doing? Oh, oh yeah, it's exciting news. So before we get started today, I want to tell you uh, this episode is now brought to you by our new sponsor. New sponsor of the show. That one's that one's good to go. New sponsor of the show is Me Undies. Very excited to have Me Undies. I d- have you ever worn Me Undies? I have not. No, I haven't worn Me Undies. Uh, I'm happy to have them as a sponsor. Yeah, though. so I, happy to have them. I just. Uh, uh, if you've seen me in my my now famous uh, leopard print underwear that I used to whip out, I'd rip my pants off at comedy in the park. I'd scare all the old yeah. ladies. Those are me undies. Those are me undies. Wow. Those are me undies. No joke. And the best part of them is they're made out of modal, which is like a, a, a wick, what? How do you say it? A moisture wicking fabric. Also, the best for shit stains. Me undies. Yeah. The best for shit. If stains. you get skid marks. Me undies, it just rolls right out, it just rolls right down your leg. A lot of people don't know that. So me undies, use promo code Steamboat Comedy. Me undies is great at checkout. And me undies is also off. great, huh? Oh, go continue, please. <laughs> I, I fucked up the read. No, no worries. There's just a little more on my page. Um, me undies is also great if you're afraid to go to the uh, store and just buy your underwear in person. If you have anxiety about shopping for underwear in person. Yeah. Because you are a baby. I get it. I have a really small dick. Yeah, and you don't and want... And when they see that I'm like trying to find the one with the least amount of crotch room, or if I buy women's underwear, which yeah. is really comfortable for me, then... You, you can know. order them straight to your door. Yeah, that's great. Nobody knows you like to wear women's underwear. Exactly. Brought to you by Me Undies. Use promo code scared to buy underwear at the dotted line. Yeah, we got two promo codes. It's pretty exciting. We got another sponsor, <laughs> don't we, Ed? Yeah, I got one right here. Um, guys... Shopping for groceries can be tough. It can. And who has the time anymore? That's why I want to present Nature Box. If you are a big, fat, lazy piece of shit and yeah. don't want to go to the grocery store. Yeah, you never want to go out into nature. If you don't want to go. You still want to taste it. Yeah, you know, if you still want nature provided into your palate, mm. but you don't want to go hunt for it or even buy it at the grocery store, yeah. order hunt Nature Box directly to your door. Promo code. Kyle, I think you got a little more on yours, actually. Yeah, this just says here that Nature Box uses only the finest organic uh, materials and ingredients sourced from communist China, uh, straight from the <laughs> <laughs> straight from the rice field. <laughs> poverty, yeah, and it's nature. And it's, but it is in nature. It's outside. <laughs> yeah. So it really gets you that organic feel. You know what I mean? I do. I do. Yeah. So uh, use promo code. Rice fields <laughs> for ten percent off, and it's a great deal. Nature Box is great. It's also what I like to call vaginas. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean. Also brought to you by uh, Hello Fresh, Hello and Fresh Butcher Box, which are all the same thing, but you can get three different products. <laughs> yes, they have they have one. You can order all three at once. It's called the Mega Box. <laughs> the Mega Box. Yes, <laughs> and the challenge. And if you eat all three boxes in two hours, you get a fourth box for free. Do you have to eat that one within the hour too? <laughs> yes. Immediately. <laughs> it's like, just as soon as you eat the last cheeseburger, there's a chip in it, and it knows to send another box. All right, we got a uh, another very exciting podcast sponsor. And up. thanks for hanging out through the sponsors, guys. But yeah, I know it's you. A lot of people like to skip ahead through the sponsors. We appreciate you guys hanging out uh, to get through us because we got to get paid. You know, you want to keep seeing quality content. Yeah. From Steamboat Comic because we love content. We're do- <laughs> this this episode is also brought to you by social media influencers. Oh yeah, 
All of them. All, every single they one? They all paid us to sponsor them on our podcast. Wow. I love getting paid by people younger than me who don't know anything. The thing, and this is just, I'm just doing the read. The thing about social media influencers is they are so goddamn pretentious. I mean, for God's sakes, how pretentious can you be? You pieces of shit. You call yourselves creators. Like you're God. They and wrote that? In, yeah, I mean, this is, I'm just... I'm you're just, just do- reading the sheet. You're I'm just, just the doing sheet. the read. Okay. You think you're gods, you pieces of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Beethoven was a creator. That's true. He created a lot. Mozart was a creator. You are a nicotine addicted asshole. Brought to you by social media influencers. Use promo code big piece of shit. What, but what do you buy? <laughs> I don't know. Do they sell things? <laughs> what an odd sponsor. I can't believe they agreed to this. And they really, all they do, we were talking about, all they do is tell you that there's more content coming. Yeah. <laughs> content. Don't worry, I got some content for you. It's like, well, a box could contain gold. It could contain shit. This is the content. Yeah. you telling me you there's telling me be, that is content. That's bullshit. Right. That's just saying, like, it's just audio stuff or video stuff. <laughs> yeah. We're going we're gonna to make a video to tell you there's going to be another video out next week. Right. <laughs> Well, at least, like, if you have, like, a show, it's like, we have a show coming for you. They're just like, oh, I have content coming. Hot, hot content. Hot, hot content. They don't do anything. They don't even tell us what it contains. No. Like I said. Uh, what's the promo code? <laughs> Huge pieces of shit. Huge pieces of shit. <laughs> Go ahead and enter use, that in. You use that at uh, steamboatcomedy.com. Buy one of our uh, beautiful t-shirts. Uh, and you use the promo code Hot Pieces of Shit. Hot Pieces of Shit. And you get a free uh, year subscription to PewDiePie <laughs> with <laughs> every purchase. Yeah. And it's not free. On <laughs> I mean, it's a free subscription as in you just subscribed to his channel. Yeah. So for, you probably want to delete it immediately. Yeah. At least I would. But if you use the promo code, that all checks out. Yeah, it's a good deal. They don't create anything, though. <laughs> I mean, we are creators. <laughs> yeah. They don't make <laughs> shit. <laughs> creators hey, it's like what are you building a bridge out how, there how pompous dude. <laughs> i know dude the arrogance of these children creators <laughs> i'll tell you a story about uh something that sucks uh it's not doesn't suck as much as influencers but i went on another shitty date so we just did a podcast uh was it two ago got two a whole bunch of people listen to it the undateable podcast yeah they loved it they liked it more than the recent one. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. For whatever reason, we got a huge spike and then a dip. I was like, that's weird. <laughs> but yeah, was I maybe one of our most listened to episodes the last two years with the Undateable Podcast, and I was telling all kinds of shitty stories. Uh, I got another one. So I got on another Tinder date the other day. Yeah. And I get to this girl's. Uh, we meet at Schmiggity's. We're doing karaoke. I'm singing Eye of the Tiger, so she's I'm all about it. Dude. Eye of the Tiger, bro? I'm singing Eye of the Tiger, Oh, dude. my God. The Eye of the Tiger. I mean, you wanted to get the crowd going. You did it. Exactly. Yeah. Everyone, people were literally fighting each other in the streets <laughs> like it was Rocky Five. Hey, yo, I got another one coming. <laughs> the man sang the song. I got to fight you. Um, but, so, but I'm going to this day. It's going well. And... We she was staying at the Nordic and I was like, all right, I've been fucking hooked up with a chick in a hotel in a while. Yeah, so yeah. I went back there. Um, things are getting well. Uh, I'm getting some boob. Got some got some Boobs. solid boob, dude. Nice. I was dude. sucking boob, <laughs> and I was like, dude, this is going so great. And then, uh, so fucking embarrassing. She she got to my waistline. She undid it, and my mountain of pubes. Just got caught in my zipper, dude. Oh my! And I couldn't God. zip it up and down, and I, uh, I was like, you know what I need to do? I need to order a razor from Manscaped. <laughs> so Manscaped.com sponsor of the show. Uh, they've got the uh, the trimmer. They got the the ear trimmers. They got the <laughs> pube trimmers. They're waterproof. They're really great. Uh, the lawnmower. Can you finish the read on yeah, there? I got it. I can finish it up. Okay. <laughs> They work just like any other razor that you would buy <laughs> buy at a normal store. <laughs> There's literally no difference between Manscaped and your average razor you can buy at Walmart. <laughs> Enter promo code promo Kyle, code. P- Kyle's Pubes. Promo code Mountain of Pubes and check out. 
<laughs> you saved twenty percent off. Nice. That's such a deal. <laughs> that was good. I uh, actually do have Manscaped. It's pretty good. I do, I hit my nuts with it all the time. Is it bad? I feel like it's just a razor, though. It's well, no, it's it's an electric trimmer, and the whole point is, is it doesn't like like nick anything so you can like get your sack pretty confidently you can, like press it really hard you can like just see, your you penis. can just close your eyes and just start <laughs> just start shoveling into it if the only way you can get off is to press a razor <laughs> really hard against the base of your penis then manscape is for you use, use promo code violent ejaculation <laughs> and check out <laughs> to save 20 percent off <laughs> it's important to show. All right, guys. I want to talk about something serious. Um, we got better help next on the line oh, for, for the advertisement. Um, guys, times are tough. If you're depressed from being on the internet too much, you should get back on the internet yeah. and try therapy via the internet. Th- yeah, it's Is being true. online bumming you out. They say that staring at screens get is back like online. really bad for your mental health. <laughs> yeah. Like anytime you're looking at a screen, like. Your dopamines are just like running out of your bodies, yeah. like like Indians trying to run across the prairie from invading white men. You know what I mean? So if you I, if so, the best thing to do if you need that hit of dopamine is to get online, stare at a screen, and uh, talk to a stranger who has no interest in your life, none and, whatsoever. And I think it's only like six hundred dollars an hour. But if you use promo code Steamboat Comedy at checkout, I think it's four fifty an hour. Kyle. I think it's 450. How many times <laughs> How many times have you been on a 4-hour porn bender? Uh like and, today? Yeah. Uh just once. And did you think to yourself, man, I would love to break this porn bender up with a little online therapy? I you know, I the thought crossed my mind many times. Well, better help is for you. Okay. Break up the porn bender and get some online therapy. <laughs> Use promo code Hot Hot Bender at checkout. Hot, hot Bender. Hot Hot Bender, which is also <laughs> what I call my dick. <laughs> oh man, should we get into get into some actual business? Yeah, should we podcast it up? Yeah. Um. All right, I got one. Okay, yeah. Give us a give us a subject. I got one. It's another sex story like you just did. Really? Um, I I know it is. It's, it's recently. Bad. Yeah, very recently. Okay. It was about. Uh, it was after the last show we did. With Brent and, yeah. and Georgia, which was a fantastic show, by the way. Yeah, it was awesome. Great show. So um, after the show, we were getting beers at the Barley. Everybody left. I went and swung by Schmiggity's real quick at, at the very end, just to say what's up. And I ran into this lady I had known from about two years ago. She moved to Denver, and now she was back in town. Okay. And I was like, hey, what's going on? How, you know, what's up? I can still dust off the old boots every now yeah, and then. See if see what I can do. Sure. You got some game if you I try to sling it around. some game if I try it around. So we get to talking. You know, it's just like old times. And I was like, all right, this might this might be a good night, you know. I started ca- counting my chickens before they hatched, mm-hmm. as they say. Classic mistake. Get back to my place. Yeah. I was like, hell yeah. You know, we're almost home free. That's perfect. Things are getting hot and heavy. I can't get an erection, so I went to Blue Chews. I grabbed a Blue you Chew. You grabbed a Blue Chew? I grabbed a Blue Chew, brought to you by Steamboat Comedy Podcast. I grabbed a Blue <laughs> Chew. <laughs> We're sponsoring them. Yeah, brought to you by so, us. So, remind me, that's a uh, small blue chewable. Yes. And you chew on it like a gummy, yep. and then you get a just rock hard cock. Rock hard erections, okay. yeah. Okay. And if you use BetterHelp and then take a blue chew right before your session, you can do an online therapy session with a rock hard erection. It's uh, it's how we get the most breakthroughs here at BetterHelp. Yeah. Enter promo code Steamboat Comedy. You could just be beaten off in the middle of the session. And they'd never know. You could split screen it. You'd be just like you're an executive at Lyft. Yeah, you know no, I mean? as long as the camera's above your waist, yeah. you can take as many blue chews as you want. I think it says that on the box. Yeah, I think it's an unlimited. I think the more you take, the harder it gets. And there's like a diamond level where it tops out. So you want to take you want to take whatever that level is, but just keep it going. Yeah. So, I don't know, like 16, 17 blue chews? How many did you take? Your heart rate will let you know when it's enough blue chews. Once it starts slowing back down from being up so high, mm-hmm. you know you've hit your threshold. And that's really when you get the most peak performance. Right. It's called threshold training. Runners do it. <laughs> um, and so you get the heart rate really high, and then it spikes down because it can't keep up. Mm-hmm. You take one or two more blue chews, and then call your mom and cry about your childhood. Enter promo code Steamboat Comedy. Promo, promo code Steamboat Comedy for 45 <laughs> erections on us. If you get 46 erections, call us. 
Call and us. we'll give you an extra erection on the house. On the house. On the house. And they're not cheap. <laughs> no. I think I'm just tossing around erections to anybody? <laughs> Fuck. No. No way. I'm not going to shave it, though. You get your own fucking manscape. My, if you want yours to look like mine, post-date, you know. We'll take a blue chew. Use the manscaped. That's so you, actually a good point, because if you're shaving it when it's all floppy. You get some creases. Folds, you get some creases. You get some creases in that's, the head of your dick. That's dangerous. Yeah, right? I get the most right in the tip of my penis. <laughs> the most hair? It just Well, the most hair and the most creases. <laughs> it's just a floppy, dirty, like a, like if someone, like you have a baby uh, uh, bulldog. A baby bulldog. You know what I mean? And like you scrunch up all the skin by their face. Yes. You like push all the skin on their like back. Like a pug. Like a pug, yeah. Like Your a, dick looks like a baby I pug. I got a pug dick. <laughs> a lot of girls, when they see my dick, they're like, oh, it's like a pug. <laughs> and you're like, scratch its belly. <laughs> <laughs> Funny thing about my pug jewels. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, blue chews. Blue chews. That was, I mean, we were just doing the read there, so. Do we have any more ad reads? I don't, I don't think, think so. I think we can get into the we cast should, now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We could probably actually podcast. Sorry, guys. We got <laughs> we got a lot of new sponsors coming at you. Um, when you have a hot, hot podcast like we do. When you got a hot, hot podcast like us. The email wants is, in. The email. Yeah, I mean, the amount of emails I get a day. Dude. I mean, we're getting so big that I'm going to have to start hiring people, like social media. Yeah. Not, not any influencers or anything. No, no, no. I'm going to... The I'm bottom gonna, I definitely need someone to run our uh, Facebook account and Instagram because I fucking hate doing it. Yep. It's so much work. And then, we, you know, we got posters. Like right now, I'm making all the posters, doing all the promos. You're a graphic designer. I'm basically a graphic designer. I do all the podcasts, the videos. I need to find some people. And that's why I use ZipRecruiter. <laughs> ZipRecruiter.com is the easiest way to find online help. If you guys... <laughs> if you... Are like me, and you just need some help to get your small business off the ground. The easiest way to find people is Zip Recruiter. Uh, what's the promo code, Matt? Zip Recruiter promo code. Um, code. Uh, promo <laughs> code. I don't know. It, that's just what the read said. It had like four O's in it. Promo code. Uh, they don't spell. They gotta hire somebody I, else. I mean, they need to use Zip Recruiter, right? To write their fucking reads because yeah. this is embarrassing. I'm starting to not really believe they're a good service. After you just embarrass no, yourself, just Zip Recruiter. Uh, I'm a, I'm doing them a favor by reading the Zip Recruiter Seriously. advertisement. And now I'm looking like an asshole because they can't get their goddamn team. Hire to, a new typographer. To know that code has one O in it. <laughs> it's fucking assholes. Anyway, Zip Recruiter, it's super easy. Um, hire anyone. They can be meth heads, ex meth heads, heroin addicts. Um, ex heroin addicts. Ex heroin addicts. It doesn't matter. You can kind of that be that. Pretty on much and off. covers everyone. Yeah, really. and they will help run your small business. Yeah, right into the ground. <laughs> right into the fucking ground. You got no chance. Guys. Right. If you are looking <laughs> for help for your small business, yeah, hire some addicts. If you want good help, uh, do it yourself. That's why I don't use ZipRecruiter. Pod- this pod this uh, this podcast episode is brought to you by Express VPN. Oh, Express VPN? I don't know what it is, you but it's brought is. to you by it. <laughs> <laughs> that is a virtual private network, Matt, for online security. Oh, so if you want to feel safe on the internet, basically it's for like if you're into child porn. Yes. Right, and you don't want the feds all sniffing around. Then you just slap on the ExpressVPN, you change your IP address to the one in Thailand. What? And then, yeah, and then you just go to town. You can also watch uh, uh, British Netflix. That sounds like a win-win, Kyle. What's yeah. the catch? Well, the feds are going to get through it anyways. <laughs> That's the main It's run by the feds. It's so run by the feds. You're just giving them easier access to your info with ExpressVPN. Yeah, ExpressVPN, <laughs> the number one recommended by the CIA. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking stupid. Are we out of ad reads or is it still? No, I think we can probably get back into the uh, podcast we now. We could probably get to, what else we want to talk about? What else has been happening with you, man? Uh, dude, I got fucking wasted last night. Did you I, really? Yeah, dude. I, I had like seven shots of whiskey and then like four IPs. You've had a real bender lately. Every time we have a show, you're just fucked I don't up. know what the fuck's going on with me, but I woke up and I felt like shit, dude. I was hungover as fuck, yeah. but thank God I had some liquid IV. Liquid this, IV. This <laughs> podcast is brought to you by Liquid IV. It comes in a small baggie. It's got a bunch now, is of. Is that like a VPN? Liquid, a liquid, liquid v- VPN IV. <laughs> it's brought to you. If you want to feel safe while you're getting hydrated, yeah. check out Liquid IV. It comes in a small packet. It looks like cocaine. If you snort it, does it 
It doesn't get you that high. Not but that it high. Burns, but it does. It does hurt a lot. So if you're going for the burn, it's really you can bad snort for your lungs. It. Yeah. it doesn't. I think it just has a lot of salt in it, which is like the only thing it has, other than just water. Is it just salt? Is it just a bag Pretty of salt? Pretty much just like salt and like vitamin A or and something, and, and like a couple lemon, vitamins. Lime, Gatorade bits. And they're like, this will be really good for your hydration. And uh, so if you put that in your and I drank it this morning, Kyle. Yeah. Did you throw up? <laughs> I immediately puked. <laughs> immediately. I immediately, vo- I didn't even make it to my bathroom. I think that's what it's for. <laughs> I puked <laughs> into my coffee cup. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> On the way to the bathroom. I thought I had to take a shit, sat down, puked in my coffee cup. <laughs> 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 I like that you took the, the coffee cup onto the shit in its yeah. dedication. I always take my coffee with me to my morning shit while I'm drinking liquid IV, violently hungover. Use promo code uh, shitting while puking for 20% <laughs> off anything at steamboatcomedy.com. Have you ever thought you had to take a shit? Yeah. And then you went and took a shit, and then you just burped really loud, and you're like, oh, God. <laughs> that was wrong. I was completely off. <laughs> you just... <laughs> <laughs> Here I thought it was just this one end. Yeah, I thought I was gonna use. I got the, my holes mixed up. <laughs> <laughs> you ever sit down on the toilet? You just shit out of your mouth. <laughs> like, like, I got God. my holes mixed up. I thought I had to shit. All I had to do was burp. <laughs> I gotta go back to bed. <laughs> Uh, Express VPN will do a lot of things to your stomach. So. <laughs> yeah, I actually use Liquid IV. It's not bad. I like it. Really? I use it when I like go for runs, just for the salt. Literally, hmm. it's like it, I don't know. It's it's taste. It tastes pretty good. It's kind <laughs> of expensive though, isn't it? It's not bad. It looks like uh, <laughs> it's kind of expensive. And I, you can only get it at Costco or online if you're lazy. Hmm. But if you go to Costco, you can get quite a few. And it looks like the shit that Tom Brady uses in on the sidelines. You know how Tom Brady's always got like the cocaine. Yeah, he's got like the gray, yellowish shit in the water bottle. No, I never noticed that. It's like grayish. What do you it, think it is? It looks like liquid IV. Mm. So I call it Tom Brady water. Oh, it's like it's like <laughs> Space Jam. It's like yeah, his exactly. secret stuff. It's Mike's secret stuff. It's Tom's secret stuff. And uh, it's actually not that bad. Just, I don't mind liquid IV. <laughs> no, it's not bad. I actually have uh, I have a very similar thing. I have the Onnit version. Onnit, that's O-N-N-I-T. Hydratized. It's actually right here. There you go. Yeah, try one. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I said try one. Shit, man. <laughs> Grab a Snickers. <laughs> you're not you when you're hungry. <laughs> You fucking asshole. <laughs> All right. This podcast is brought to you by Snickers. By Snickers. <laughs> Sorry, I just turned into fucking Judy Dench for a second a real, there. And got a <laughs> really aggressive <laughs> Snickers commercial. <laughs> We're going to make that one day. Oh, yes. That's going to happen. <laughs> Grab a fucking Snickers because you're not you and you're hungry, you piece of shit. <laughs> you fucking pile of shit. <laughs> I've already eaten 18 Snickers. Eat another one. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, you still don't Porky. seem like yourself now, do you, you no. fucking asshole? <laughs> Too much sugar. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Do your teeth hurt? Do your teeth hurt? Cry <laughs> me a fucking river, dude. When I'm puking in the morning, I like liquid IV. <laughs> <laughs> Wash it down with a hot, hot Snickers. Uh, <laughs> Oh, man. We haven't gotten into the podcast at all. No, it's like we keep pretending to get into it and then just throw another ad in. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm trying to make these sponsors happy, you know? I'm just doing the reads. But I'm just doing the reads. I'm just doing the reads. We got the reads right here, and I'm just reading exactly what they told us to say. Yeah. This podcast is brought to you by Cheez-Its. Sweet, they didn't sweet write anything else. Sweet, they're They're good. <laughs> They, they come in duos. They, they, yeah, they can get two two flavors. You, it says right here you can get two flavors. Yeah. Um, if you drink them um, with a Gatorade, it actually combines p- pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's a, true. A red Gatorade and cheese. It's go well together. Brought to you by Gatorade. They, uh, this. Uh, Just read it. It's right there. <laughs> they didn't write. Much they said, go nuts. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Are they made out of nuts? Go Are they nut, nut flavored? <laughs> Brought to you by. Jeez, it, I need more direction than this, man. <laughs> we try our best on this podcast, really, to to give people a platform and give these small companies a platform. <sighs> yeah, which I just want to support Cheez Its, man. We really do, but it's impossible to work with these this reads. Buffoonery. It's impossible. Like this buffoonery Cheez Its. 
I knew people in high school who could proofread better than these fucking people at Cheez Its. Yeah. Dude. Christ. What, you put cheese on a fucking cracker? Whoop dee doo. That's all you did because you didn't go to English class. You fucking pieces of shit. God, dude, we're going to have to cut all this fucking shit. We're going to have to cut. There's no way. I don't even want their money anymore. No. This and is it's such unprofessional bullshit. $500,000 a read? I won't do it for That's that That's not much. even close to worth my time. To sit here <coughs> and embarrass and myself? Embarrass myself? In front of our fucking beloved listeners? We're really sorry, guys. We are sorry for the unprofessional <sighs> so shit. So we'll scratch the cheese at horse shit. <sighs> Keep, buy Gatorade, though, because Gatorade No, had, Gatorade is still great. It, they had, had, no, it had nothing had to do nothing with it. It had nothing to do with it. No. No. It just goes well to get together. Um, there's a lot of sugar in Gatorade, though, so be careful of that. Yeah. Watch um, your teeth. All right. We got a couple more. Cal, <laughs> <laughs> um, do you ever get tired of fucking your hand? Oh, never. <laughs> well, <laughs> you Wait, I mean, is, are you telling me there's an alternative? There's an alternative to is thrusting sex your sad <laughs> dick into your palm. <laughs> <laughs> is it somewhere else I can put my sad dick? Like a woman? Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's I not. Mean, I, I got carried away. I got carried away. <laughs> Brought to you by the human woman vagina. Um, no, this is yeah, this right. next read, and we're again, we're just doing the reads. Just this reads. next product is brought to you by Steamboat Comedy, and we are a proud new sponsor of Fleshlight. Fleshlight. Fleshlights, about time. Give it up for Fleshlights, the guys. The mega industry. I mean, they were pretty big twelve years ago. And then everyone got tired. Everyone got tired of beating off, but I heard it's making a big comeback. It is. And I heard if you put it in a shoe, you don't even have to hold the flashlight. You just can hold the shoe. <laughs> <laughs> now, Matt. So if, <laughs> yeah, yes, Kyle? And again, we're just doing the just, reach. Yeah. I'm just asking a genuine question. Matt, is it possible to mount the flashlight? I don't mean like me mounting it. I mean like perhaps the... Mount it to a to a doorknob, perhaps. Yes, yes. There's a, a there's an area on the back that's very sticky. Very sticky. And if you come onto that, it gets more sticky. It gets more sticky. Okay. And lets you place it on your buddy's door because you're gonna be <laughs> tired for a while. So your buddy might as well be able to use it. Yeah. While you're drinking liquid IV and Is working it, your juices back. Well, up. you gotta drink. You gotta replenish. Yeah. You know. So yeah, you can stick it to any or f- you can. If Any your w- girlfriend doesn't want you to have sex with her, you can stick the flashlight to her lower abdomen. So I could put it like on, like say, like her navel. Her navel her academy. Navel. Yeah. Her navel academy. And again, this is a big product in the navel academy. Oh, I'm sure it's huge. <laughs> yeah, it's more of buttholes because they're, you know, but right. And again, we're just reading. We're just reading the ads. The Naval Academy I'm loves flashlights. I'm not quite sure what flashlight was insinuating there because they're a big military, yeah, uh, supporter. Oh, they they ship all their products internationally mm-hmm. for free. For free, and that's not that's not they it's because there's so many on the navy ships already. Yes, and they I, they they quality control them uh, while they they're test on them the ships. Out they first. test them out, and that way, when it gets to you in Indonesia, yes, uh, or if it comes from, I think they're all made in Thailand, of course. When it gets here, yeah, it comes back here, mm-hmm. and then we test them. The, na- test the navy does. The navy's <laughs> the they shave them first for yeah. you. They got their manscapes. They shave down the fleshlight. Yeah, because you know it's Thailand, and that's how they. Well, come. they ship them over with a bush, which, which I always thought was kind of weird. Yeah, so get manscaped, shave your fleshlight, shave your flashlight, test it out. Yep, and then ship it back. <laughs> <laughs> and then just return. And what is the return policy? How many times can I, you know, use it thoroughly? Uh, so there is a liter, like like on a on a protein shaker. Yeah, you can see how many liters are. That's kind of so what it is after a while. Exactly. So shaker. you can fill that with uh, jizz. Yeah. Up to about <laughs> seven hundred and fifty milliliters. That's a lot of jizz. And they will take it back. So like three or four times is what you're saying. As long as you don't clean it out. Yeah. They'll give you ten dollars to return it. No kidding. It's the craziest return policy I've ever seen wow. on any product. Yeah. Hmm. And the promo code, Steamboat Comedy Podcast, if you enter that in, mm. you will automatically get a QR code for the return. Yes. And all you do is you take a, a, a USB drive, yeah. download it onto that, right, and then sh- shove the USB drive into your ear, yeah, and the QR code will appear in your eyeballs. 
No kidding. Like so a you, projection or you just see it? No, I, I would just be able to see it in your pupil and then I could scan it right out of your eyeball. Get you your return. Get you your ten dollars. It is a win-win, Kyle. It's a win-win. You give them your jizz, and then they do all kinds of horrific genetic experimentation. Yeah, on they it. test it out, and then they give you quality products like uh, USBs to put in your eyeball. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they test it out. They test it out. This is all FDA approved. All of it. Yes, it and is FDA approved. Also approved by the uh, National Security Agency as well, and the Navy. And you know what you can use to ship. What can you use to ship? So if I wanted to ship my flashlight back, your jizz filled flashlight. My jizz, I mean, it's too, it's piping hot. <laughs> yeah, it's filled to the brim. Yeah, you have to return it within two hours of your last right. use. So I need I need shipping <laughs> quick. So what am I? How am I going to do that? Do I got to go all the way to the post office? You don't, Kyle. No, you can actually get uh, a little advertisement called stamps dot com. Oh, stamps dot com is delivered a right to your door. Okay. The fucked up part is, though, yeah. you already have to have stamps.com to get the stamps.com delivered to your door. Shit. So I don't know how that works. Um, that's, and again, I'm just reading exactly just, what they wrote down. They're really not giving us a lot of direction. What are they, fucking Cheez-Its? Is yeah. this Cheez-Its.com? <laughs> this, is che- this is coming Jesus. off like a Cheez-It read. And again, we're sorry about this, but if you can find out a way to get stamps the first time, then you can use those stamps to deliver more stamps to your uh, business or residence. Cheaper at a business. Go ahead and uh, take that into consideration. That's very important. Yeah, yes. it is. Yeah, because I run this business and I'm filling up a lot of flashlights too. Yeah. I mean, a lot. Just doing your part. Just doing, yeah, I'm trying the to. the Navy. Yeah, I'm trying to support the military. I'm trying to support, uh, you know, as much ethnic cleansing and, uh, you know, genetic engineering as possible and yeah i'm trying cloning. to get taller and the only way that's going to happen is if someone comes and blow darts me in the neck and i grow six feet and how is that going to happen if they're not rapidly and recklessly testing my dna if they don't have vials of your dna Vi- i mean gallons how are they going to make you taller buckets i don't know how they're going to i don't think they can drumfuls drumfuls yeah they're not going to make Troughs. you taller without a lot of uh, they got troughs <laughs> not to get too gross your semen though they need oh, it yeah sorry the people need it. To be to be clear, that is what we meant by ejaculate and uh, DNA. That is a little bit graphic, but hey, they just paid us ten grand, so they did. And honestly, we're just doing the fucking reads. Like, I get it. I know if it I get upsets it's boring, you, some I get of the, it. Yeah, I know. We we once we power through these ad reads, we'll get to the podcast. And it's I know I know it's tough to get through. And uh, we appreciate you guys sticking around. We do have a couple more reads, and this next one is a little <laughs> more serious. Yeah. It is, guys, and I did want to talk to you about something that I use every day, and um, it's very dear to me, and that's why I like to, you know, kind of get the energy to settle down a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, guys, if you're having trouble sleeping, yeah, if the uh, terrors of your childhood are haunting you at night and you Literally can't fall night. asleep, mm-hmm. uh, go ahead and get yourself a Casper mattress, Oh, specifically for the haunted. Yes. Because of Casper Because the he's the friendly mattress ghost. If your house is haunted, if you've ever been to a cemetery, mm. Casper mattress. I mean, my, the way I've been going with these flashlights, my mattress is more of a slimer, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it is. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's, a de- that's a decent joke for Casper mattress to write on our reads. Yeah, it's they're kind of perverted. <laughs> it is. It's fucked up. I don't up. know how they knew we were going to do the flashlight <laughs> ad, too. I don't know either. What's in it for them? Again, Casper, they're ghosts. Paranormal, yeah. they know all. That's a good point. They got Ouija boards all over the place. They knew, yeah, they do. Casper mattress for the haunted. <laughs> <laughs> Use promo code haunted at steamboatcomedy.com. Get 20% added on to your checkout. Do you hear little girls singing in your hallways at night? Yeah. <laughs> Is that keeping you up? Try Casper Try mattress. Casper. He'll yeah. come over and he'll be like, hey, girls. Let's all get along. That could be a be good. Like, oh. That could be a good commercial <laughs> for just, ca- just some dude tossing and turning because there's there's a haunted little girl in the hallway. Yeah, and it's super scary. And then a Casper mattress shows up and he can sleep soundly. <laughs> <laughs> the Casper mattress just flies through his wall. Yeah. It's like, hey, buddy. I think it's a good ad read too. Yeah, they really gave us some hot hot content here. I think we're about through, aren't we? I think that's all of the ads. I mean, Indochino, who knows what the fuck that is, really? Yeah, they gave us money. They didn't even tell us what it is. It's like suits. 
I'm I assume it's like a ma- sadomasochism thing, like the ones where your mouth zips shut, like uh, in Pulp Fiction. You think it's a sexual thing? It's a thing? gimp suit. That's what they call that. Oh, is it? Yeah. And they say, uh, well, at least in here it says it's good for weddings and business <laughs> events. So I assume that's what it is. I don't know what else you'd use it for. Indochino. It's either from <laughs> India or China. We don't know. We don't Chino. <laughs> we don't Chino. Simply Safe, brought to you by Indochino. Check out Manscaped for promo code Liquid IV. Yes. <laughs> and fuck cheese it, dude. I did watch Pulp Fiction the other night. I don't oh, know did if you? I, I don't know if I talked to you about this, but the scene where they're getting dinner, and uh, Uma Thurman goes into the bathroom to powder her nose, right? And she just blows a she line of cocaine, of coke, yeah. and then comes out and immediately starts eating a hamburger. It's impossible. It's impossible. You, no one would eat a cheeseburger, or hamburger right after doing cocaine. No, dude, you can't. You'd be oh, st- the, like the last thing sounds worse <laughs> than the, a hearty. Seriously, I've never done cocaine, mom. But if if I had, from what I hear, uh, you lose all of your appetite. Yeah, there's no, like it's not even shit. possible. <laughs> like the the thought of eating is like the last thing on <laughs> someone else's mind. But like, but what I do. Is just get fucking hammered instead. <laughs> yeah, you have to drink it down yeah. and chain smoke. You need eight whiskeys and two packs of cigarettes. Oh god, you smoke forever, and then like whiskeys. I usually just just get the shittiest beer, and I'll just drink eighty of them. I'll <laughs> For drink whiskeys. Yeah, no. The, instead of whiskeys, oh, I, instead, I'm saying yeah. yeah. I you said whiskeys. I'll just get eighty beers. <laughs> <I'm> just, <laughs> so I can't do whiskeys. Is what I'm saying. Uh, no, you just you just get the cheap beer and you just slam it all like here at music festival or whatever. It doesn't just, affect you at all yeah. until two hours later when it wears off and you're blacked out. Yeah, and then all of a sudden you just fall to the ground. But I, I I always have a great time when I do that, and that's why this podcast is brought to you by Paps Blue Ribbon. Paps, number one for seven hundred years in America. It's is, brought to you by it, Paps. It is Paps Blue Ribbon specifically. If you're on a cocaine bender and you need cheap beer. Paps is Paps. the beer for you. Oh, yeah. Or even if you're not. If you're just an alcoholic who lives in a trailer and beats his wife. It's better if you do it with cocaine, though. It is. And uh, that's just the truth. The new cocaine line is coming uh, this fall. but uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's got a... It's they just a they just salt the trim by the <laughs> rim like it's a margarita, yeah. and you can just <laughs> sniff it around a circle and then just chug it. I also watched uh, The Dark Knight Rises. Oh, yeah? And you know when he gets stabbed at the end? Yes. He gets uh the twist. And he's like Aah. Yeah. He gets Batman gets stabbed. It's yeah. like his the bat suit can like deflect guns and shit. And then she just stabs him with like a four inch blade. <laughs> <laughs> like right through. No no like problem at all. Yeah, right? And she doesn't even like wind up and do it. She, she just, just pushes it in. She's like, yeah, yeah, kneels kneels right beside him and just jabs it. Well maybe she's just really strong. Yeah, she is Raz Al Ghul's daughter. Because, like, like, most bulletproof vests, like, you can shoot them all day, but you take a bow and arrow <laughs> right through it. Yeah, but he, like, gets lit on fire in the first one, and he's fine. <laughs> like, the one he gets that always, shot. the bat suit thing that always pissed me off the most was in The Dark Knight, when the Joker tosses what's her face out the window, just, like, yeets her, and just, like, oh, like, oh point yeah. choice of words, and then yeah, just yeah, lets yeah. her go. And he's like, oh, I'm going to do something. He just jumps and just goes off the building and catches her, and then just. Just hits the ground. He just hits feet a, first. He just hits a car and crumples. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, he doesn't go feet first. That when he goes on his back. There's a different one where he. It's the the beginning where he stomps on the car where he jumps off and hits the van while. It's oh going. yeah yeah yeah. Because if he if he missed that one he'd break both of his legs. <laughs> yeah. And and in that one they don't even try to hide it. They're just like oh yeah if you just jump out of a thirty story building and you hit the top of a car. You'll be fine. Yeah, the bat suit. It there's can withstand. N- there's no explanation. Thirty like, stories. Like they show his cape flopping around, like it slowed him down. But it's like that's not slowing you up. down. You just yeah. yeah. It's like what the fuck. But I just choose to buy into it. I mean, you kind of have to. <laughs> I was watching it with Seamus. He was like, so he brought it up. He's like, so like it's bulletproof, but it can't take a knife. And I was like, Seamus, all right, <laughs> okay. Seamus, go fuck yourself. All right, man. Okay, just watch the movie. Are you Morgan Freeman? Did you make this suit? Uh, yeah. Don't tell me how it works. It works. Just I was just like, she just got it in a good spot. I well, I thought know. it wasn't bulletproof, though. Because that's a big thing in the dark. In the second one, when he gets the new suit where he can turn his head, he doesn't have to look like it's a George Clooney Batman. And then 
he, he asks him then, he's like, how's it do against dogs or whatever? Because that sets up at the end where dogs are biting him and it's fucking him all up. Yeah, yeah. He's like, it's lighter, but it won't be able to stop as much blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So I don't think it's bulletproof anymore. It's not knife proof. That's for goddamn sure. Certainly isn't knife proof. I know that. That's that's for damn he's, sure. He's definitely bulletproof in the new one. Yeah, he gets with Robert shot a Pattinson. Whole bunch. Yeah. He gets a shotgun right to the chest. Yeah, and he's like, dork. And he's like, he's like, that hurt. I need some adrenaline. Yes. That's a great scene. That is such a good movie. Honestly, though, The Dark Knight Rises was fucking, it's it's really Still good. Still good. Dude, it's really fucking good. Bane is fucking awesome. Bane's the best. Anne Hathaway kills it as Cat. I loved her as Catwoman. I didn't really appreciate it until I watched it again, because I was always fucking Michelle Pfeiffer from from the second, you know, Batman You're, you're a Fife fan. I'm a Fife fan. You know, the Tim Burton one, that was mm-hmm. always one of my favorite ones growing up. I gotta go back and watch the old ones. I want to see if the, I we I think we talked about this. I want to see if Jim Carrey's Riddler holds up at all. Yeah, I love it. Especially you said that, and I'm still skeptical. It's just because the fucking new Batman, the Riddler, was so serious and so dark and so twisted and maniacal and a murderer, like fucking blunt objects to people's heads and shit. Yeah, just hitting them with and fucking then, mallets. And yeah, shit. and it was like, okay, that's a lot. But then you go back to the third Batman with Jim Carrey's Riddler. He's, like, dancing around and having a good time and, like, doing fun fucking twisted games. Yeah. And it's just way more fun. It's like, like Saw, oh. but more fun. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's not as, exactly. It's not as just serial killer sneak into your house and right. murder you where your kids are upstairs. Right. Well, that's why the new ones are good is because they're, like, dark. So dark. Yeah, and the old ones were kind of, like, more in the Adam West kind of like pow kick yeah bang. they still had the the cartoonish comic book type yeah. fucking ri- he literally does the Riddler dance the Riddler in the new one doesn't do the Riddler dance not one time what he doesn't kick his feet up and he doesn't have a cane he doesn't have a cane and that's kind of bullshit I thought that is kind of bullshit it holds up he does wear glasses though God George Clooney was the worst fucking Batman George Clooney is the worst. He's like a politician in the fourth one, it seems like, and he's got a hot wife, and his nipples are protruding. He's married? He's got a fiancé. I, I remember in the fourth one, because she keeps hinting at she wants him to fucking pop the question. Mm-hmm. And it's like, that's that's Bruce Wayne, don't do that. Bruce Wayne, don't do that. He doesn't show up with a... He doesn't have time for that shit. He's fighting crime. Yeah, but Dude, he's it's like... a full-time job. Intoxicated by Poison Ivy's fucking pink dust. Yeah, and then just gets all blue chewed up. <laughs> yeah, and then gets and him and Robin have rock hard erections. <laughs> and they're, just, and they're just like, she likes me like, first. Yeah, that's because they fight each other over. Dude, right? that's the whole movie. I rewatched it a couple months ago. Is they're both just trying to fuck the whole fuck movie? Ivy? Yeah, the whole movie <laughs> is Batman and Robin being like, dude, I'm gonna fuck her. <laughs> that's <laughs> no, it. I'm Chris O'Donnell. I'm gonna fuck. I her. have the earring, dude. I'm gonna fuck her. <laughs> and then finally, he kisses her, but he's got rubber lips. That's right. I remember so. that was the big end is because that's because if you kiss her, you die. Yeah, Cause yeah, because the poison ivy. Because it, she's a poison ivy. But it's really just a reminder to wear condoms. <laughs> it's really <laughs> just a big PSA for prophylactics. Yeah. yeah. And Bra- Batman, yeah, pro-choice Batman. Huh. What a guy. It's a good, I don't know, that's... It's brought to you enter- by Warner Brothers. <laughs> enter- <laughs> and <laughs> enter promo code condoms. <laughs> <laughs> Rock hard erections yet again. <laughs> all right, do we need to actually talk about anything, or I think that's a pretty good podcast. I mean, we got all our sponsors out of the way, so now we're paid up for the next year, which is nice. God, it feels good to finally get some recognition. <sighs> finally, I wish these fuckers would work on their reads a little bit. But yeah, cheese it's fucking Christ. I don't even want to say that. I'm going cheese nips. Yeah, from now on. no, get some triscuits, buddy. Get some triscuits. Some cheese nips. You know what's even better? Sun chips. Oh my god! Even get the dude. harvest cheddar. Because that's the superior cheese product. This the uh, What's the red one? The salsa something? God, Ooh, I garden remember. salsa. Garden salsa is a really good fucking garden chip. Garden salsa slaps, dude. It's a really good chip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good chip. Enter promo code cheese it to get some garden salsa sun chips delivered right to your door. That's a funny thought I had. I don't know if it's a bit or if it's good enough, but I... I made a frozen pizza earlier because I was treating myself. <laughs> yeah, so I, that's how I get this been physique. good. <laughs> yes. Life's been good, making all this money. I could afford a Red Baron pizza. But on the package it said... You should be a little fat guy. You know that, right? Well, I just... You got to fucking exercise like a psycho and then you don't get fat. Yeah, that's true. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> could you be a fat guy? No, I'd lose my fucking mind. But like if if it was like for a role or something. If I if I was offered the role of the penguin... Yeah, I'd be a little fat guy. You could do it. Like you could just get fat. 
Actually, I don't know. I could. I have the body type to get fat. Really? Yeah, yeah. If I just ate like ice cream every fucking night. Is your dad fat? He yeah, he's a big guy. He's actually lost thirty pounds though. Shout out Pops. Shout out to Pops. Fuck Friend yeah. of the show. He's got twenty more to go, he said. He's looking fucking good now nice, though. But he's dude. always been a big guy. Yeah. So I have the body type. Like if I had ice cream every night and I didn't run, I could be fat. I would love to see that. If he hey, just you pulled wouldn't. a Mac and just showed up one day and we're just fat as hell. <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. I have a picture of myself. We'll put it on our website of when I was in college. I got up to like 205 or 210 of like not good weight. Really? And uh, yeah, I'm only 5'11". You put it on the freshman 15, is that what you did? But I was a junior, <laughs> so <laughs> I, I didn't. Had a delayed growth spurt was, there? Yeah, I was like good freshman and sophomore year, and I just started putting ranch on everything. Oh, that'll do it. And just not working out. Mm-hmm. And I got to a, a solid fat 210. Yikes. Yeah, it was awesome. I've never been I've been a little schlubby, but I've and I've been like weak. If I don't work out, I just get weak. I don't get fat, really. You couldn't yeah. I, I kinda I dream about getting fat sometimes. Do you? Like being fat and happy in your old age? Yeah, just like getting to fat. How comedy? fucking nice would that be just to be like, ah, I'm giving up. <laughs> <laughs> Brought to you by Better Health. <laughs> <laughs> Enter promo code. I get that. I went. I was at the gym today. I really I had a, like a long day, fucking like hauling shit around, doing manual labor, and I was like, oh, I didn't go to the gym yesterday. I have to go today. And I went and the whole time I was there. I was just like, man, I wish I was at home, fucking eating and playing video games. That'd be so great. It'd be awesome. It's all I thought about the whole time. And then you watch a David Goggins clip, and you're like, I am the like, weakest I'm a man. Piece of <laughs> shit. <laughs> he would, f- if I ever had a wife, he would fuck my wife. I'd let him. I You'd mean, not that I have any choice, because he'd just whip my ass. Yeah, he's a Navy SEAL, bro. He's a fucking monster. He would, he would hold you down while he fucks your wife. <laughs> <laughs> hold me up against the wall with one hand. I think that's like pretty much the gist of every one of his videos. <laughs> he's just like, I could fuck your wife I if could. I wanted to. I'm the hardest man. <laughs> oh, the Goggins. What a champion. But then you would just be a kind of a fat guy, and you would feel very shitty. Well, my health would be poor. Yeah. That'd be true. And your confidence would go down. Go down to nothing. Yeah, it's already... It's already hanging on by a thread. <laughs> by a fucking very thin thread. By a thin, thin thread. <laughs> God, especially after open mic, the last one. <laughs> fucking hated that. <laughs> I went up there tired, and I had no plan, and I didn't write, and I was like, ugh. It's like, I'll just do crowd work, and I'd like talk to three people, and they're like... Uh, like gave me nothing. And you I know was how like, it's really hard to like go into crowd work and then go back into material and then go into crowd work and then go, and then go back. That is material. all you did. That's all I did. <laughs> yeah, I attempted the impossible. You, did. you went fucking evil Knievel up I there. I fucking dude. just went for it. I was like, I'm just gonna see what happens. And what happened was pure <laughs> shit. Yeah. Well, I had such good crowd work the week before. I was all confident about. It. I was like, I'll just do that again. And yeah. then there's no one up front. There's half <laughs> as many people there. The few people I talked to were like, we've seen your jokes. And I was like, <laughs> Son of a bitch, this is a nightmare. It's like, oh, you invested in crypto? What's that? Like, he's like, yeah, I don't do it anymore. And I was like, fuck oh, you, bro. Shit. <laughs> yeah, I got nothing. You're giving me nothing here, kid. Yeah, that was brutal. But we're going to bounce back strong this week. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm going to actually do jokes. <laughs> <laughs> fuck yeah, we are. That was a good podcast. Yeah, like I said, we made our money. Had a good time. Thanks for everyone for listening. Hope you enjoyed it. Check out uh, Indochino and On It and Simply Safe and Casper Mattress and Blue Chew and Stamps dot com and Squarespace. Squarespace. We even say Squarespace. We didn't, but check it out. Let's see what the ad read says. <laughs> Squarespace. Are you tired of trying to host your underage porn? Pl- Ooh, I don't want to support this. No, God, I don't want to no. support that. We will kind of uh, fucked up Squarespace. We don't want their money, so we're gonna we're gonna cut them we'll out cut of next week's one. ad reads. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. You can use promo code uh, steamboatcompany.com at squarespace.com. And Squarespace and Headspace. And Headspace. All the space, all the boxes. And simply safe. We're just brought to you by boxes and space. <laughs> yeah. Get your food right to your door. Do therapy online. Get Shit your pants and your me undies. Get some underwear. Be secretive online while you're getting therapy. Shave your fucking pubes. Thank God. And get rock hard with blue chews. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> what are these advertisements trying to tell everyone, dude? I think they're just trying to destroy society <laughs> dude, now that we put it all together. This is wild. I we just we... Da Vinci coded all of this, and it's like, I think this is the end of the empire. What are they really trying to do? Is your small business struggling? Hire some methods. Hire some guys with boners and... 
And if you're stressed out, get a flashlight. But make sure you're jacked with on it. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck these messages are, dude. But once we put it on the board like this, I think humanity might be headed in the wrong direction. I think we're doing bad. Dude, these are the ads. The only thing that would save us is if on it made a collaboration with Fleshlight and they had like a kettlebell that you could fuck. You know what I mean? <laughs> just swinging it back and forth. If and you just drill a hole in a kettlebell, you can fuck it. I mean, anything's a flashlight if you drill a hole in it, really. <laughs> <laughs> that's just science. True. That's just basic physics. Dude. Yeah, that's how they came up with the idea. Mm-hmm. Some I'm guy was like, I want to fuck that flashlight. <laughs> or that flashlight. I can't even say <laughs> flashlight anymore. Yeah. Joe Rogan has those kettlebells with like the face on them. Yeah. <laughs> he's, just, he's definitely fucking those kettlebells. He's definitely drilled that gorilla's mouth out and stuck <laughs> yeah. his dick in it. There's no way he has. He probably tries to lift it up with just he's his cock. The, the fucking swings. Yeah, <laughs> just right in. Right into his pelvis. <laughs> oh my god These pills. are like Looking at them on the board Like this is what They want you to buy It's kind of fucked up man We're falling apart <laughs> That is kind of fucked up <laughs> Speaking of <laughs> fucked up Come see us this weekend uh, And we're planning out Another show I didn't even get a chance To talk to you about What the game plan is So I need to figure it out But we got one more show of, jokes Of the summer series Coming up It's going to be a good time At Schmiggity's So keep an eye out for that the spelling bee is on the way back. The starting date is up in the air. We got some more things coming. And uh, that's 90 episodes in the book, buddy. Yeah, this is a good 90th episode. We got to have a big 100th episode spectacular we coming do. up. We do. And every we got to we got to do another running bit every every couple episodes. Sure. We, you know. We need more f- ad reads. I almost yeah. said fake ad reads, but obviously not. Those They're are real fake ad reads. Real fake <laughs> ad reads. <laughs> Those <were laughs> Next one's going to be real fake doors. It's going to yeah. be. Oh, no, real fake doors. No, that was fun. That was a good bit. Cool. All right. Well, thanks, everybody, for listening, and we'll see you soon. Silly bitches. Bitches. Promo code silly bitches. Promo code silly bitches. To get, we're not sponsored by anyone. <laughs> I don't even know how you do that. You know you get fucking sponsored, dude. Rain or shine, it's here to make you laugh. It's the Steamboat Comedy Podcast. It's the Steamboat Comedy Podcast.